guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be cutting and polishing the car, getting rid of the RG peel. Uh, once we've done that, we're gonna start getting all the pieces back in the car, getting it back together, and hopefully take it for a test drive. Now we're gonna start the mopping stage. We're gonna mask, mask off around these strips. Once they've been masked off, and around the door sides as well, we're gonna start uh, dry sanding it. Once, once the dry sanding's been done, we're gonna start wet sanding it. After that, we're gonna start polishing. As you can see guys, the door has been wet flatted now, so the next stage is to polish the door. Uh, also we've masked off the whole car to stop any compound going all over it. Uh, once that's done, we're going to mask this side off and move on to the next panel. So as you can see here now, we're just finishing off the lower door. We're getting rid of the orange peel. Because it's quite bad, that's the first time I actually used that lacquer. Uh, it did come out quite dull, so we had to wet flat it to get the right finish. So what we're doing now is we're wet flatting it with the um, 1200 grit. After 1200 we're using 1500. After 1500 we're going to wet flat it with 2000. Then the final stage is to try zack it with 3000 on the DA. After that, we'll start polishing the up. Guys, so it is the next day, and uh, we've fitted in all the interior plastics. So uh, the lower door sills, the B post, is all fitted back in. We've got the door cards in as well. So uh, the inside of the car is completely done now. Uh, we've even put the skirts on both sides 
Uh, if you come around this way, uh, the only thing left now is the uh, headlights and the bumper. So what we're going to do is uh, build the bumper back up. Once we've done that, we're going to get it on, uh, get the headlights in as well, get everything uh, lined up. Once we've got it lined up, we can really uh, look at giving it a final clean. And hopefully taking for a test drive. We've also got to put the scuttle panel on as well. Oh yeah, not forgetting that piece of there, yeah. And also, the air box yeah. Well. yeah. Also, not forgetting uh, the washer jets need to go on as well, so we need to feed them through and clip them in. Guys, so we haven't replaced the windscreen just yet. Uh, the plan is to basically take it for a test drive first, and then uh, when we get the time, we're going to replace the windscreen. Yeah, definitely, because it's n the the crack is at the bottom, so it's not a big issue for the moment, but yeah, it will be really replaced. Visible. It's not really visible on the driver side. Yeah, it's quite low down, but we will replace it 100. So guys, as you can see, the bumper is bare, so we can start building it back up. The center grill needs to go on, the side wheels need to go on as well, the jets need to go in, and the cap, and the toy needs to go in, but we need to order that, so that's not going to go on. Uh, the other side needs to go on as well, obviously, the side grill, the uh, air vent for this side, and the washer jet, and the cover, and also, we need to fit the parking sensors in. Once that's done, we can start fitting it back up. Just the bumpers left. I think once the bumpers on, I'll take the lower grills off, then I'll mop that up, cut and polish that as well. Also, we've got to fit the scuttle panel back up, and uh, the washer bottle next needs to be fitted as well, which goes on this side. The lower jets need to go in as well. Before we can start fitting the front end up, we want to clean all this uh, white compound that's left over. So, yeah, we'll clean that up, take it outside, wash it, jet wash it and bring it in, blow it all down and start putting the front end back up. So we've uh, washed away all the compound now, it's nice and clean. I've also blown it with a blower to get all the water out. Also, the connectors blown all the uh, water out of them because we don't want any water in that. Uh, also, this side's been done, so that will be ready to fit back up. Before we do that, we'll uh, fit the scuttle panel back up and the uh, washer jets as well. They need to go. We need to feed these pipes uh, through the bonnet. Yeah, so that needs fitting up. And uh, also, there's a hole here. For the uh, neck of the washer bottle, so we'll be fitting that up now.
So as you can see guys, we fitted up the front end now. The bumper still needs tightening from the sides and underneath. Uh, we're still waiting for the top airbox cover to arrive. That's an order and also the tow eye. Once that arrives, we'll fit them. I've fitted the panel on and uh, it's got a few scuffs on it. Um, so we'll be changing that. So yeah, if you just fit that on for now. So once a new one arrives, we'll get that fitted. So guys, it is the next day and as you can see, we have the car back together. Uh, it's not 100% just yet, it is missing a few pieces. The windscreen is cracked in a few places. Uh, we have ordered one, it is on its way. It'll be about a week or two before it gets here. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna take the car off on a test drive. Uh, we're gonna listen out for any knocking sounds. And we're gonna test the uh, tracking as well, just make sure it is driving straight. Uh, once we've done that guys, we can get back to the workshop and uh, resolve any issues. So for now, let's get the car on the road. Guys, so we've been driving for about 10 minutes now and I haven't really heard any knocking sounds so far. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't heard anything... Uh, well, we have to any test, knocking test sound it, we have to test it also for mode because... That is correct. Why not? Right right we've got our comfort, low, yeah. comfort mode. I think it's load right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's load right now. Guys, well. in case you don't know, this car does have air suspension, so you can uh, raise that and lower it. But right now, it's on the lower setting. Um, so far, so good. No mechanical issues. And uh, it so seems to be driving fine. Driving sound. Guys, so right now, it's in dynamics. So what we can do is uh, see how the exhaust sounds. Uh, if it doesn't sound that great, we can always uh, get it straight piped and uh, hopefully remap it. we've been on the road for about half an hour now and uh, everything seems to be all right uh, there's only one issue right now and that is the sound of the car we're not happy with the exhaust uh, it does bang and pop but it's like very quiet it's not that loud so what we're gonna do is uh, there's a good chance we will be straight piped in the car and getting it remapped it'll definitely be it because it needs it because obviously it's an RS6 it needs to have that sound to it and I don't really know if the camera picked it up or not but like hopefully the camera did pick it up but if you could hear the pops and bangs then they, they, they don't they don't really sound like you could hear it but it's very faint yeah very very faint he tells that the secondary cats are blocking the sound guys so we just got back from the test drive everything seems to be okay the tracking sign there's no uh, noticeable sound uh so mechanically it seems to be 100 percent right now uh so we are thinking of uh, smoking out the headlights and uh, wrapping that lower lip in a black glass colour, so it can go uh, with the grill. Um, as well as that, we are thinking of wrapping the uh, outer trim of the window and the uh, roof rails, black glass. Uh, we are also thinking about changing the rims. Uh, these don't look that great to be honest on RS6, so there's a good chance we will be changing them. If you guys want to see that, let us know down below on what rims shall we get. So those are the changes that we are looking at. They're not 100% going to happen, but there's a good chance they will. So uh, for this video guys, we're going to call it a wrap. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Uh, we do have an Instagram page, Performance Rebels. So follow us there for the inside scoop. Uh, before we upload videos onto uh, YouTube, we do add little clips on the Instagram. So you'll have a little idea of what we're going to do in the next video. So follow us on Instagram for that. Uh, so yeah guys, just join us in the next video. 